been about 18 months in the, in the mix of trying to get this station together. Uh, one of the main reasons we have this station and the location it is that we had some residents in this area that uh, had a class T and ISO rating because they were not within five miles of a certified fire station. So uh, that was one reason. In fact, it is in the kind of the center of, the, of Bluffley County. It gives us a good response to all corners of the county. So it worked out well. Uh, a lot of hard work got into this station. Uh, so I just want to thank everybody that had a part in that. Right, so we're tying this in. I want to thank the chamber for coming out and doing a ribbon cut ceremony. I thought that was very appropriate for the station. Uh, we're also tying in our third anniversary, uh, getting together for our volunteers and their families. But everybody's welcome to stay after this. Uh, we've got plenty of food that we're cooking. Uh, we've got a bouncy house for the kids and just different things that uh, we want to participate in and look at the station and what we have. Uh, we got some special guests here today I'd like to introduce. So thank you. Like that. Thank the chamber and everybody involved for coming out. I want to thank uh, Ms. Tammy Wilson with uh, Woodman Life. Uh, she, I made a phone call, she called me back, she did great on getting us a flagpole and a flag. Uh, they donated it. Conference chapter, we have four of our members okay. here that did assist with this. David Sons and Mr. Wynn. Uh, we definitely appreciate that. It, 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 got ordered, got here, we put it up last night. <laughs> so, so that shows you we were definitely running around here trying to get last minute things done for this occasion. And we just thank everybody that, that uh, went out of the way to you know, take that extra time to help see it happen. Uh, of course we have our state representative, Danny Mathis here with us. We appreciate him coming. If you would like to say a few words in a few minutes, that'd be great. Well, you want me to say Don't it now? The only thing I'd like to say is thank you to Bob Brockman and the Chief and the other volunteers and the county residents for pulling together and making this happen. Because we want to do this to, to make sure that our fire protection is good, get the ratings down, keep the insurance down. This is a vital part of our community and it's so wonderful to see how all these folks work and do these things for us. And I appreciate it. I'd like to give them all a big hand. We have our county commissioner, Bob Brockman, who probably got a lot of stress on him now. His fingers are tired, but we have definitely stressed his uh, check writing. Uh, <laughs> tough with him. But, but I appreciate everything that he's done. Sometimes it's not as fast as I like it, but there again, I understand he's got a county, got a lot of budget issues to deal with and so forth, but if it wasn't for him, we'd probably still be standing on a piece of dirt out here. So I just uh, want to thank him for all that he does for us and support that he's given us a part. anything? Not a thing other than this gratifying to see this come together like it has. Thank you, Mr. Bob. I also have a special friend of mine that uh, I've been knowing him for many years. He's helped me out a lot when I was a corrections officer in Riceville, Georgia. Uh, Mr. Willis Wobbles, he's a former mayor of Riceville, a firefighter from Riceville retired state fire marshal and uh, he does a lot with our copper motor speedway keeping them straight and on, on the on the narrow so appreciate you being here today and if you'd like to say a few things i'm excited for you folks this afternoon this brings back so many memories to me of when we started fire services in johnson county 55 years ago uh, and it's just a historical moment for you i want to echo what the representative said about the togetherness you people have here the volunteers uh, and everybody, uh, Mr. Brockman, uh, I know a lot of these people over here. I'm public relations for Cochran Motor Speedway now, and uh, you, I retired from the state and went to work like so many other people do. But your chief here, I can't say enough about him. I met him when he came to work in Johnson State Prison in 1994, and then he got into fire services. He was uh, station chief over at Dodge County. Then he, now he is the district fire chief in Department of Corrections over several stations. Uh, and is the uh, fire chief of the Georgia Department of Corrections on vacation this month, this week. But he asked me to uh, say congratulations, Chief, and congratulations to the people of Lancaster County for this historical event. Thank you so much. And you did a good job. And uh, I, just, I, I, mean, I can talk all day about this good fire. <laughs> just excited about this. <laughs> Yeah, like 
we have, we, we started three years ago. Uh, we had five stations, not very much apparatus, not very much equipment, uh, but we definitely had a, a group of volunteers that had a heart for this community. These volunteers is what this department's made of. Couldn't have done without them. Uh, stepped up to the plate, <coughs> done everything that needed to be done. They worked hard. And sometimes we have too many people on the scene. I mean, they're just, they got a desire to help this community. <coughs> it's made my job a lot easier. Because if you check around some of these other counties that have volunteer fire departments, and they're about begging people to come help out. Volunteer service is definitely uh, really looking hard for good volunteers, and this county's blessed. I've got 45 volunteers right now. Uh, many of them are getting as much certification as they can get, as much training as they can get. Like I said, they're all eager to help. This is station one. We now have seven stations. We have seven class eight engines, one at each station. We have tankers. As you see, we have a platform truck. I mean, we're growing. That's, that was my vision three years ago, was to grow this department to the point to where this community has the best fire protection it can get, especially on a limited budget. So I just thank everybody. Uh, like I said, again, if y'all want to stay around, we'd love for you to. We've got food going, got drinks. Uh, look around, see what we got going. And I'm glad to give you a tour of it. But I do appreciate everybody. Thank you. Thank you.